Hey guys, what are you doing today? So yeah, just my um, my immediate reaction after the game where the All Blacks beat Argentina 38-0. You know, they got the revenge um, after last time they played against each other. And yeah, the All Blacks, to be fair, they dominated that match. They completely dominated that match, you know, throughout their physicality within defense as well as just putting the high ball within the air. And yeah, just they, they were able to get the ball within the wings, which I thought was one of their key areas and why they actually won this game <laughs> very, you know, convincingly in a sense. Where Argentina, to be honest, I, I thought they just weren't, they weren't the same Argentina, of course. You know, they made a lot of substitutions within this match, even beforehand. You know, it's not the same team as they had when they beat the All Blacks the first time. But yeah, no, Argentina, um, to be fair to them, I mean, they, they defended well within the first half, you know, the... It only ended uh, 10-0 to the All Blacks within halftime. So, yeah, they actually did well there. And, I mean, to, to give them credit, like, I thought Argentina actually deserved a few penalties. Like, they... The ref, I think, made one wrong decision where they were in the All Blacks 22 and they had a mall. And they were essentially going for it. But the ref actually never gave, like, an advantage, which I was, like, I was so, so surprised about. So I think they should have earned a penalty from there. And, you know, obviously the ending one where Sanchez was kind of pulled back uh, towards the end of half time. But those are two penalties that Argentina, sh in my opinion, should have got. So it could have, the game could have been 10-6 and, you know, it could have been, you know, a different game completely. But, yeah, no, fair play to the All Blacks. They completely controlled that game within the second half. You know, they scored 28 an unanswered points. So that's just... You know, credit to them. But, yeah, you know, I, I was just... As soon as the All Blacks were, you know, 10-0 ahead, I was like, okay, they're, they're scoring way more points within the second half. And, obviously, they're going for that bonus point, which they do have now, which is vital for them because now they, they sit on the top of the table within the Tri-Nations uh, table with uh, 11 points. And that's huge because now what happens is that, obviously, that's their last game. So, that's their last game of 2020. So, they end their, uh, they end their season on a high, which is good for them. But yeah, Argentina do have another game next week against the Wallabies, and they'll be hoping to win that game. And to be honest, um, if Argentina do win that game, then they will be on level points. Um, well, they will. They'll be close to the Wallaby uh, to the All Blacks, of course, because they'll get ten points. At, ten points from the game if they win. But if if they do get a bonus point, then they'll be you know on level points with the All Blacks. But the All Blacks just have a superior you know tr you know uh, diff goal difference really within the. Uh, within the table. So it's going to be really hard to actually, you know, <laughs> actually win the title now for the Argentino. But yeah, so yeah, from this game, the All Blacks have pretty much, in my opinion, have pretty much secured the Tri-Nations Cup. It, it's yeah, credit to them really because they just outperformed the Pumas throughout the whole game. They controlled the game immensely. Like they, they just held possession, which a lot of uh, people beforehand actually thought that, that the Pumas would be having a lot of possession, you know, wanting them to like make mistakes in which they... I mean, to be fair, like, the Pumas, every time they had the ball, they just kept on knock, like, knocking over the ball. And I was just, I got so frustrated by it because, you know, when you saw Argentina play throughout the last two games, they never did that. They never knocked on the ball as much as they did, they did within this game. So, yeah, it was, it was, uh, <laughs> every time they knocked on the ball, I was just like, oh, my God, like, it, you want to give them some <laughs> one chance. But, yeah, they, they never had, you know. Yeah, they just were unlucky within this game, essentially. And yeah, the All Blacks were just... They just defended physically, and they just wiped wiped out, essentially, the the Pumas within the second half. And yeah, credit to... Uh, personally, <laughs> I, I did predict that Will Jordan, you know, that I did say within my preview, if Will Jordan does come on, he's going to hurt you. And <laughs> like I said, <laughs> and you know, you can see from the game, he scored two tries just coming off the bench. And yeah, both of those tries are such Will Jordan tries. Like, if you look at them, it's like we're... It literally comes off and a Puma's mistake. Both of them just on the ground. He just picks it up and just scores a try. And he's, you know, he's 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 too quick. So you're not going to catch him. But yeah, it's just a Will Jordan thing. And yeah, don't. I, I'm telling you, Will Jordan will be the next Ben Smith. I I've already said this in previous videos, but he, in my opinion, will be the next Ben Smith. He could maybe even be better, but we'll have to wait and see on that. But yeah, he was probably my standout player. I'd say throughout the game, you know, he made an immediate impact off the bench. But if you're going to say a player who actually, you know, did pretty well within the first half, I'd probably say Nepo Alala for the, for the All Blacks within that prop position. You know, he won a lot of those scrums for the All Blacks, which were very important, and they gained a lot of penalties off that. Like, throughout the match, like, Argentina conceded, like, 14 penalties. So that was, you know, it, it shows how much of, of a difference, you know, two weeks can really do for the All Blacks. You know, they had that extra week, of course, to rest, and they just, 
yeah, that they they did well to stop, you know, obviously like, you know, Julian Montoya or Gino Petty or, you know, Pablo Matera from actually getting the ball and, you know, getting into the breakdown and like, you know, earning a penalty. Like they only gained I think they only earned two penalties from the breakdown, which is crazy because Argentina throughout the last two games have actually won like I think over five throughout both games. So it's yeah, yeah. The All Blacks definitely stepped up throughout this game, and they totally deserve to win that game. They just completely controlled the game, and yeah, like I said, they got the revenge on Argentina. So yeah, we'll just have to wait until next week and see what happens. But yeah, that's just my immediate reaction to the game. You know, obviously we'll. I'll be hoping that Argentina can win next week, but it will be, of course, difficult at, you know, as uh, the Wallabies do have home advantage, but we'll have to win and see on that. Anyway, I uh, hope, hope you guys have a lovely day, and see you guys next time.